ให้I don't know how many people are here. I don't know who's watching. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. I am in my hotel room in Albany, New York. I have a show tonight at Rocks. I just finished, we just finished a show at um, Kingston in Kingston, New York for the Link Project and the Hudson River, uh, Hudson Valley, um, I forgot, I'm so bad at this stuff. Burn your drag, I know, I should. No, actually, Monty, I'm going to give my drag to the Philippines. <laughs> Those girls take all my shit. <laughs> so how is everybody, you look like shit, I know. Monty, you tried it, South Africa loves you. Thank you, I would love to go to South Africa, that would be amazing. So sad you got eliminated. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hmm. Love you, Brit May. Love you too, Max. I miss you so much. Talk your shit. Okay. Love you, everybody. Hey, we took a selfie in Toronto together. Awesome. <laughs> I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for all the love. The lipstick is on point. Yes, it is. It's Girl Crush Liquid Matte. It's a liquid matte lip from Sugar Pill, and it's called Girl Crush. Yeah. I'm so sad you go, fuck you. Connecticut loves you. Actually, I'll be back in Connecticut in February 16th. I'll be back at Yale University. Ha! Hey, old friend. Who is that? I think I know who that is. Shit, I just don't know the name right now. Hi, everybody. Love you, sis. Thank you. We took a selfie, so we're like, fuck you. It's not as her way of life. <laughs> so, no, actually, I still am in drag. Uh, these lashes are drag. These rhinestones are drag. I would not be rocking around daytime with this shit on. But, and this nose contour is a little too, um, it's not daytime. It is not daytime. I love your friendship with Fifi. I love my friendship with Fifi. NET on All Stars 3. It sucks because I'm not on it. No, um, the girls are amazing. Love from New Hampshire. Hello. Say hello to Berlin. Hi, Berlin. Such fun girl. Come to Sheffield. What the fuck is Sheffield? Columbia. No, nope, nope. I'm not going to Columbia. Y'all might kill me because I'm a Pia fan. Sorry. Jiggly, can you hide from Brazil? We took a selfie, Mickey. Shut up, Monty. Mexico. What about the UK? I love the UK. See you in Seattle. When they book me, come to Vegas when they book me. <laughs> uh, you are killing it today. I'm going to die today. I am on two gigs. I don't know. There's no trade in Poughkeepsie. I didn't check. I'm in Albany now. You are sick and slight. Thank you. I took a shit. Good for you. How's the big dick? Shut up. Why aren't you on All Stars? Because they, they said I wasn't good enough. Come to Norway. I'd love to. Um, would you do All Stars? I don't think so. I wouldn't do All Stars. I don't think so. I don't think it's for me anymore. I don't know. Not that I, I don't want to, it's not biting the hand that fed me. But I just think that they won't use me. And I don't want to just keep dreaming or thinking that they're going to use me. So I'd rather just out of sight, out of mind. Sheffield in England. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi from the UK. I love the UK. Would you come to Edmonton, Canada? If they booked me, I would come. Oh, Sean. Hi, Sean. Sorry. I'm going to give you a lips. First lip sync was amazing, and I loved you. Clothing and... But you obviously what? I love you. Look, that outfit was a hot fucking boo-boo mess. But I still made it, so it's cool. I am Lisa Bianca Linda. Thank you. Come to Scotland. I'd love to... Any new music coming out? Yes, there will be music coming out very soon. As in, this year, she's coming out. Um, I'm trying for a, a release in February. Um, I kind of want to drop it like Beyonce and just drop it and then nobody, just, the people just gag. But, I mean, Billboard knows about it, so they wrote something about my album. I, I did send, they, I think they got a preview of my album already, that's why, so... I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for my album. And I'm excited for you guys to hear my album. 
Who's the tenth queen? Somebody I don't give a shit about. Come to Peru. Come to the bathroom. Shut up. Um, I drink too much. <laughs> um, come to the bathroom. I like your eyebrows today. Shut up, Monty. You're such a bitch. <gasps> Sugar pie. Hi, sis. Girl would be the fan favorite in All Stars 4 if you were. Aww. No, because I might say some rude shit and y'all would be like, fuck her. <laughs> I'll be the snake queen. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not in it. I don't. I cannot predict of why I was not chosen. It. All I know is I, I was, I was in there for a second. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm a firm believer in things happen for a reason and things happen when it's time. So when it's time, when the right time comes, Maybe that's when I'll be on All Stars. So if if happens, I don't know. Wait, were you getting ready when we were talking on the phone? Yes, bitch. <laughs> you have me. Sh- I hate you, Monistat. You know, Monty. I can still edit the. They can still edit that video, and you'll be gone. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Such a bitch. Give me that jacket, Monty. Can you follow me, please? Your boat was laying. You're a liar. <laughs> My boat was laying. Uh, I can't go to the show now, but I hope you have fun. Thank you. Mahal kitab. Thank you, Buku. Buko Pandan, New York. Oh, why? That's a cool name. Love my sister, love my sister. I love you too, girl. Tell us about your new video starring you. No, Mani is not in my new video because she sucks. Horrible. I miss you too, Kyle. Oh, God. I love you guys. Like, you have no idea. Like, guys, I had so much fucking fun in the Philippines. I could not go live in the Philippines because 3G sucks over there. I don't know. My, my internet was horrible in the Philippines. So, I was like, I was the only time I would try to go and post up is when I got back to my hotel room. Keep inspiring people. I... I never thought that I would be an inspiration, but if people could learn at least from my mistakes, by all means, do not do what I do. <laughs> we need to hang out. Oh my God, yes! Ricky, I would love to. And congratulations on everything, Ricky, for everything's gone. Money, no. <laughs> no te ves pendeja. I don't know what that means, but pendeja is a bad thing. So if you're calling me a pendeja, fuck off. What is your favorite Drag Race lip sync mm, of all time? Uh, see, but it's not the verses. It's like certain girls that I like performing. Like, I love when Roxy performs. I love Kennedy when she performs. Alyssa. <coughs> <coughs> Juju and Raven. That was, that was gut-wrenching. But, like, me and Fifi talked about it one time. We were like... If we were, if both of us were on All Stars together and we had to lip sync for each other, that would not have happened. It would have been an all out battle. Like, look, bitch, I'll talk to you when I see you. <laughs> Come to India. Oh my God, I would love to. I would love. Morgan, hi, sis. Uh, I would love to come to India and I would be like the Cheetah Girls and be like, one world, one heart. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, I, I yeah. I blame Valentina. Why y'all blaming Valentina? I think you're good without it now. Thank you. You go, girl. Morgan. Morgan. I love Morgan. That bitch. Me and her should have been all stars together. God damn it. I would have fought with Morgan just for fun. <laughs> Morgan is sitting side. Morgan is, uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? Morgan is in fucking Hawaii, that evil bitch. I'm so jealous right now. I'm in freezing cold and she's in fucking Hawaii. Come to Brazil. I would love to come to Brazil, but I don't think I'd be working if I go to Brazil. I'd find a husband in Brazil. Though I kind of found a husband in the Philippines. Like, there's a prospect. No, joking. I'm so joking. Oh, God, if any of the girls in the Philippines saw this, they'd be like, bitch, what did you just say? What's your favorite song on the moment in Spotify? I don't have Spotify. I just, I buy my music. So, um, the last thing I bought, honestly, was... 
Because the, the girls in the Philippines got me into Havana. I wasn't into the song until recently. Is my eyelash wonky? What the fuck? Yeah. But I do like Havana. Oh, na, na. It's stuck in my head right now. I don't know why. I might come into South Florida. Mm, I don't, not anytime soon. I want to. I want to get out of this fucking cold. That's what I want to do. You are a super inspiration. I thank you. Thank you so much. Marry me. Mm. Depends how hot and how hung are you. And no, I'm joking. Um, Morta Linda. Okay, thank you. I love you on Drag Race. Thank you. Looks so fish. There's a rumor going around that you left the toilet seat up. Mani, I should back. I should kick you in your fucking face. I was wishing that Michelle would bring you back. No, I'm good. I love Michelle, though. Michelle was such a mom to me at the Christmas Queens tour. Like, mainly when I got sick and I was in the UK, like, she was literally, like, mom. She was like, take your medicine, like, drink this now, drink this hot tea. She was making sure I was good. And we even had a little pep talk, and she made me cry in a good way. And I was happy to be with Michelle and spend time with her. Um, hi, Jiggly Happy New Year. Come to Australia. I am coming to Australia. Ha ha. J in July, I will be in Australia. Uh, who would you root for if there was an All Stars winner season? Oh, fuck. That's hard. Because I have friends, like, a lot of the winners are my friends. I'm friends with Bianca. I'm friends with Sharon. I'm friends with Raja. So, uh, and Bob. I'm like, I, Alaska. Chad, are you crazy? No, I couldn't pick. I would be so like, eh, I don't know. I, it would be fun, though. I would love to watch them, but I don't think they'd do it. I love you, Jiggly. Thank you, The Realist Boy. Hi, Brazil. I love Brazil. I love Brazil porn. Straight Brazilian porn is sickening. Oh, God. Who is my favorite drag queen? Chevelle Brooks is my favorite drag queen because she's my drag mom, and she's fucking amazing. And my sister, Sugar Pie Coco, because she's funny as fuck. Um, Happy New Year. Sing, girl. Nope. Ooh, can't call you Jiggly. Yes, you can. Work, Jiggly. I love you so much. I love you, too. I'm from Scotland. Work. She's in Hawaii because she got All Stars money. Bitch, All Stars money. I have. It's one thing when you got Drag Race money. It's something when you got All Star money. Bitch. <laughs> That's sickening. Please say hello, Connor. Hi, Connor. Can't call you Jiggly Brazil. You should go to Cancun. I love, I would love to. Um, if you could make a whole album with any queen, who would it be? Ginger Minj. <laughs> I would do an album with Ginger. Because Ginger has such a beautiful voice. And I think Ginger, and Ginger could rap. You guys heard us when we did Christmas Hams. But wait till you hear Ginger, like, really spit. She could actually do it. So I would love to do it with Ginger. I would love to do a T. Like, me and Fifi should do... A revamp of The Simple Life. That would be amazing. But then Fifi would just probably yell at me because I'd make too many mistakes. <laughs> Are you coming to Ohio? If they book me, darling, I would love to. Me and my husband love you so much. Hey, to the Philippines. I love the Philippines. Um, damn it. Stop texting me. Who? I was here at DragCon. Oh, I will be at DragCon New York City. Trust and believe. Hello from Scott. Your makeup is gorgeous. Thank you. Come to Spain. I would love to come to Spain. Any, where, any place where the Cheetah Girls have been, I would love to go. So Spain is one and India is one. I would love to go just because I want to see how beautiful Spain is. Um, my cousin went to Spain and she was like, she said that she, ha she like had an amazing time and it was beautiful. And then you guys like in Spain that they have like a point in, in the day where... Stores are closed because everybody's, like, taking a nap. And I don't know if that's true, but I think it's cool. Um, you didn't have a chicken moment. You go, girl, like, this lash is acting a fool. Can we get a shout-out? Daring Secrets Official. Hey, what's up? Come to Argentina. I would love to come to Argentina and be like, uh, don't cry for me, Argentina. Bitch, I would do everything. I would live. <laughs> Spain, I love, Spain loves y'all, cool. Who am I rooting for in All Stars 3? Mmm. Mmm. See, that's like, okay. So, I would be rooting for definitely Morgan and Shanji. Because, like, I am really close to those two. I love those two so much. Um, not only because Morgan's here, but I, Morgan knows I fucking love her. Um, yeah, Morgan and Shanji. 
I like my two main ones. That lipstick color. It is Girl Crush from Sugar Pill. Chi Chi's also amazing. Thanks, Boo. Wish all the best para siempre. Gracias, mi amor. Any Boston gigs coming up? No, not, not yet. Besos para Argentina. Mwah. You're amazing. Thank you, Hannah Star. Team Trixie. Trixie's also an amazing. See, there's so many good queens on All Stars. Jiggly Spring loves you. Please come. I would love to. You can book me. If you can make an album with any other queen, who would it be? Besides Ginger, Adore would be nice. Um, Adore, yeah, Adore would be nice. Alaska, <laughs> Sharon. I, but I already made songs with, oh, Willem would be one. Hi, Integration. Come to Vegas. Oh, shit. Take off. I'm not. Mm, the hair's a mess, you fucker. Can you pose for SS? What is SS? Sports Illustrated. No, no, that's not Sports Illustrated. I don't know what SS. Hi, Hannah. What is your favorite outfit that you made? I, I had no favorite outfits on Drag Race. <laughs> Even at the post office, you won't catch a bitch slipping. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plane. I love the Cheetah Girls. I love the Cheetah Girls, girls trust me. Hi. <laughs> do I like Britney Spears? Yes, I do like Britney Spears. Um, can you say hi to Justin? Hi, Justin. Girl, there is no view in this hotel. I'm on the first floor. Hi, Frostbite. Love my eyes. Thank you. Hey, Phoenix. Bitch, everybody's in here today. Work. Mm, hi, Rain. Hi, Gorgeous. Proud of you, thank you. What lipstick am I wearing? It is Sugar Pill. I would call this uh, Girl Crush. SS is a screenshot. Can you post for a screenshot? Okay, hold on. Took it? Okay, good. Do you know why Shay and Trinity said no to All Stars 3? Because they want to make their money. How's the biggest thing? Shut up, Monty! God, you're an asshole. <laughs> All 50 states. Caliente. Say hi to Chile. Hi, Chile. Hi, Patrick. Makeup on point. Thank you. Thank you. When am I going to Scotland? I don't know. When am I going to Scotland? <laughs> These door knockers. Oh, my God. So, Jim, okay. These earrings. Um, I, I originally got these earrings in Orlando. And then they broke, and then I couldn't get them anywhere. I couldn't find them anywhere. And Ginger was so sweet and bought two of them for me. But then one of them I ended up giving away because a queen in the Philippines really loved them. And she's, she was so sweet, so I just gave it to her. But at least I still have one. And I know I can always ask Ginger to get me another pair. Because so Ginger's a sweetheart, and I'm going to see her again soon. <laughs> Who do you think the tenth queen is? Oh, I know who the tenth queen is. Did you see? Oh my God, I saw Courtney's entrance. I thought that was amazing. And the funny thing is, I have the same kind of outfit. Well, we all kind of have that fabric now. Damn it. <laughs> we love. I love Ginger Minch. Trust and believe, Ginger. Okay, Fifi is like my best friend in the world right now. Is one of my best friends in the world, and Ginger is in there now too. I like me and Ginger. Over the past year, have gotten to know each other, and Ginger is such a sweetheart. I fucking love her so much. I'm having that fun and thinking, fuck, Monty. Monty, I hope you break your dick, okay? I truly hope you break your dick. I'm trying to... Manila. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Manila. <laughs> Manila, we need to go back to Manila. <laughs> do you believe in destiny? Yes, I do. I believe in destiny. At work trying to watch this live. Why are you at work trying to watch my live? I'm taking my shoes off. Oh, my God. This TV doesn't work. And they only got like 20 channels. 
None of them good. Boracay. Oh my god, Manila, do not start. I would love to go to Boracay. <laughs> but the girls were telling me about a place that is better than Boracay, Manila. And it is like just as good, less expensive, but even like more sickening as far as in water wise. So we need to go there. I am in Albany. Do you like queen? Do you like the queens and also? Yeah, I do. Tell me what do I look for in a guy? Hmm. Uh, definitely a tall guy. I like a big beefy dude because I am a big girl, so I like a guy who's beefy. Who can kind of like throw me in around or whatever. That's kind of stuff I like. And I'm preferably cute. It doesn't have to be hot, but it has to be at least some kind of good looking. If I come with you, Brock, and I drown you. Money, I'm fat. I float, you asshole. You'll float, you fat bitch. I hope you get fat, minus that. Oh my god, I'm speaking of fat, I'm hungry. Freaking free. Oh my god, it is cold. Do I have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. Though somebody caught my attention. <laughs> it's so bad. Love your makeup. Thank you. I am a freak. Trust me. How can I get a smile like yours? <laughs> Spend the money. I paid money. If I got, we can finally do that photo. Yes. Oh my God. I would love to. Who is the tenth queen? I'm not telling you. Y'all just have to wait. It's in two more weeks. Damn. Or three weeks. I don't know how many more weeks it is. Left till Drag Race starts again. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to do this like this for now. For now, I'm going to... Yes, you're a freak. Yes, I am a freak. And bleaching. Oh, I did. Now, um... I like Asian snacks. I'm still in, like, Asian mind. Jiggly, you are stunning. Thank you. Love from Iceland. Oh, cool. How can I know the 10th queen is? Because I just did. I'm going to fabricate you. Oh, any more of those colors of those, um, just find stuff. That's cute. And then send me pictures, Monty. And then I'll let you know. I'm a big beefy man. Oh, my God. Why am I back in London? Mmm. There's in talks to about a possible perform like tour in London that I'm gonna do. So everything is with my album stuff. So everything when my album finally comes out, things are gonna you guys will see. There's things in the works. I can't talk about it. One, I don't wanna jinx it. So hopefully things happen already. I would love to. Northern Ireland. Mm -mm. That sounds cool. I would love to do that. Can you say jiggly in Spanish? Um, la divas no se hacen sino que nacen. I don't, I don't know if I said that right. I hope I did. What kind of hair should I get tomorrow at, the, at a hairdresser? Uh, straight, bone straight and call it a day. <laughs> Celebrity big, you have to, no, you have to be known out there. I don't think they, I'm known enough to do stuff like that. Maybe if the Philippines does cele like celebrity big brother, I could do that. That I would do. How song, song with Jinx? Mm -mm. We're not in the same. Me and Jinx don't have like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we could. I don't know. What am I snap? Huh? I'm in New York, but I'm in Albany. With a bag of chips and force you to stay. Save the <laughs> A lot of people in here. Well, I don't know. Maybe you never know. I mean, I would do so. Sorry, spell check. Hi, Jiggly. How are you? I'm good, love. How are you? Yeah, Korean junk food. Is Korean? 
Motherfucker said it was Japanese, but okay. Hey, Jasmine. Yeah, me and Jasmine have the same aesthetic, so I don't know how that'll work out. But neither do me and Sharon, but we have a song together. Oh, my God. Since Billboard wrote, wrote about it already, you guys... I cannot wait for you guys to hear the song me and Sharon did. It is so fucking bomb. Y'all have no idea. Bitch, and it is overly aggressive, though. <laughs> what I think of Courtney's accent, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was so cool. Only Courtney could do that. Of course she would. Actually, I would think Willem or Courtney would do something like that. Do I speak Spanish? No, I don't, but I do know a lot of bad words in Spanish. Say hi to Alex Rice. Why are you so stunning? Because you got good makeup on. Stunts and shows, bitch. Jasmine, how are you? How's that rat in your fucking toilet? <laughs> Jasmine found a, t a rat in her toilet and she lost her shit. Hi, Belen. Say something in Spanish. Ay, papi, dame duro. Love you. Kisses are from Guatemala. Are you Cuban? No, I'm not Cuban. Oh, my God. I love Ginger. Is my favorite person. Ginger is one of my fucking favorite people in the world right now. If you could have done different characters on Snatch Game, who would it have been? Um... I would have loved to done Dora the Explorer. Because I was originally going to try to do her. I'm fine. I was in this season and I could barely see her. I am five foot four. Come to Houston. I told y'all, I only know some bad stuff in Spanish. Soy la puta amarepe. I don't know what that means. Kisses from Brazil. You were great. Thank you. Cardi B, Nikki, or Little Kim? Um, Little Kim all day, every day. Then Cardi B, then Nikki. Sorry, I like Cardi. Who did you get on Best Runner? Um, I um, filming. I was closest to Dita, and then after, but me and Fifi were kind of building a friendship then already too. <coughs> after it's been Fifi. <laughs> Fifi, Ginger, Willem, those are my people, right? Manila. Manila's been my friend prior to Drag Race, so she doesn't really count. Um, Dora Rocks, your amazing kisses from him. Who's my favorite also? Actually, nobody. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to end this right now because I want to take a quick little nap, wash my face, and order food. I don't think this place has room service, but I'm just going to grub hub and see what happens. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You weren't mad that Fifi told you to tell her. Uh, I was initially after, but now I'm not. <laughs> it's been seven years. I don't care anymore. Seriously, like, look at, look at my life now. Look at our lives now. Things like that are so minuscule at this point. Fifi has been one of my best friends, has helped me in my career. And she's, like, I can't tell you guys how great of a friend Fifi really is to me. Because she's a genuine person and people, I wish people could see the true person that she is. Um, and I think she gets a lot of shit that she does not deserve. And but so does my, like, I don't know why, like, the girls that I'm the closest to always get shit for things that they don't deserve. Fifi, Ginger, Roxy, they're amazing girls. And people just want to hold on to things from a TV show that happened years ago. And that didn't even, that has no bearing to their own lives. And I don't understand. Has my life changed a lot after Drag Race? Yes, it has. And I, I cannot... Words cannot express how grateful I am to all the wonderful blessings that it has given me. And the most recent blessing that it has given me was being able to perform in the country where I was born and do a homecoming show 
like it means the world to me and people don't understand how it did because like the Philippines that's where I was from that's where I was born there you know a lot of a par- big part of who I am as an entertainer and not even just an entertainer as a woman is so deeply rooted into the Philippines so for me to be able to perform back home it meant the world to me and honestly like meeting fans and sometimes when I get like oh I don't want to cry uh, when I get um, messages from those fans about how I've inspired them or how some things um, things that are happening in their life or maybe about their parents like if they lost a parent or a family or a loved one or something and always it hits home because I know how it is because I go through it and it's a pain that I would never ever ever wish upon my, my worst enemy so when people write about that I always like I feel bad because I wish I could give you a hug and let you know that it it'll get better somehow you know, shit like that. I, ah, fuck. This is why. Yeah, <coughs> uh, thank you. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. But yeah, a lot has happened since Drag Race. And I'm very grateful. Very grateful. <laughs> Even if I never get on All Stars, I'm happy with with everything that it has brought my life. <laughs> it, has, it has brought a lot of good things. It has brought me great friends. And it has taken me out of a very dark place. I will say that. At the darkest point, at one of the darkest points in my life. And Drag Race kind of helped pull me out of it. I will say that. So that's why I... Ah, fuck. Which queen I cannot stand working with? Pork chop. I hate the bitch. I can't stand her. Entitled asshole. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're so strong. Thank you. Don't cry. Text me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, people are wondering why I have lost weight and stuff. I've tried to kick soda out of my system, so I only try to drink water. <laughs> the, this bullshit water, I don't know why I bought this. It was like, supposed to have like vitamin C and shit. Liar. Uh, greetings from Colombia. Hello. Love you. I love her from Chicago. Which one? Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to get off this. Thank you for listening and being here with me. I'm going to try to take a nap or wash my face, then take a nap. I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to get some rest. I love you. Bye. Hi guys, good morning. Um, I never show people what I look like without makeup, but because uh, it's early in the morning, I have to get ready to leave here in Albany, and I'm just going to do a quick little day beat so I can get out of here. First things first, I will put on my primer. I never, like I washed my face, just took a shower, so now I'm going to do my primer. Uh... What a queen. Hi, guys. Um, sorry if I'm not going to be reading a lot of what you guys are saying. Oh, fuck. I'm running out. So. Hold on. Shut up. Sorry. Do I ever go to Nashville? I have. I've been to Nashville before. Um, 
So this is my skin. No makeup, nothing. So I'm gonna put makeup on now. I put primer on my face. I could put like a dime size. And I just put it all over. My face, my face, my face, my face all over. All stars for is no. Yoko. <laughs> you don't want to do it. So just a little bit of primer. Actually, I want to put a lot more primer. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need it today. <laughs> Come to India. Oh my God, I would love to. I really do. Okay, if I don't pay attention much, I'm sorry. Okay, why is... Okay, um... Okay, after that, obviously, foundation. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to put a little bit of Derma Blend. Hi, Jiggly. When can we see you in Ginger's cooking show? Um, okay, there's a... Something happened with me and Ginger's cooking show. We have to reshoot it. So, uh, yeah. It's not going to come out anytime soon. We're going to have to reshoot it. Ikaw ba yung kinikwento sa akin ni Bri? Putang ina... Oops. Shut up, Ekin. Fuck. You're such an ass. Ikaw ba yung kinikwento sa akin ni Bri? Gago. So I put a little bit of this. It is from Dermablend. I fucking love this. It is a Glow Creator Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. I put it all over my face. Honestly. Because I feel like your face should fucking glow. I want to go like fucking like, and it just goes under, honestly. Um, and my favorite, my favorite foundation uh, looks like somebody just jizzed all over me. God, do not take a screenshot of this. Already? Why? Oh, this bitch didn't charge. Hold on. One second. My light. No! Okay. So, you, this shit is shady. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm going to have to do this quickly. Okay. So, I take the... This is not going to happen. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> My technical difficulties are white lighting. Ugh. So I put... Uh, no, no, it's not gonna happen. So I guess I'm not gonna do this with a light. I mean, I can honestly do my makeup in the dark. Because I know my face. That's literally all I put on. This bastard better fucking light. <laughs> Ever since the Philippines, this fucking mirror has been giving me issues. I'm gonna have to like talk to people from Glamcore. Because what the fudge? Wait, my color and this is Joer. If you guys can see, it's my favorite foundation right now. Nope, not macchiato. That's my macchiato is the color I use for nighttime. Um Really, that's what I use nighttime. Oh, wait. But I squeeze it by accident, so we're gonna have to use it. I'm just gonna let that charge for a bit, man. I mean, I honestly don't even need a lot of foundation, it just looks like a lot. So I do the bottom, the bottom of my face. Yeah, nope. Oh, fudge. What the hell? So if you guys hear me cursing at somebody right now, it's probably because my friend Ekin is on this feed, and the bitch likes to fuck with me, little bitch. And Ekans like uh, the friend, a uh, friend I made in the Philippines. See, now I look like a pancake. Ooh. 
Ooh, streaks. That is not good. Streaks are never good. I always do my makeup down to, like, my neck. Wait, I need to see the final of this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Guys, we're here for Jaylee, not you. Ooh. I'm going to do this. Gaga! Puta ka, you want to? Eke, you're such an ass. <laughs> Stop, Eke. Oh, my God. Do not, you guys, do not listen to Ekken. Ekken is a little bitch. <laughs> God damn it. I just want to see if, this, if the skin is right. <laughs> okay, she's good. Honestly, in this foundation, I honestly don't have to do anything to it. Do not have to touch it. Though, because, like, I... I I'm still a little kind of exhausted from last night. I like to put a little bit of highlight under my eyes. Just so I don't look dead. Oh, Jouet. Oh, my bad, Jouet. Sorry, I don't... Sorry. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be difficult without a light. Damn it. Okay. I got to do this quick. Okay. Just underneath the eyes. Because, bitch, Ma mama was out last night and had gigs and stuff. So she has to highlight under her dark circles. Nobody wants to look crazy. No. I guess I will. I need to do a little bit on my nose. Hi, Jake. How and when did you I'm be a woman? I've always wanted to be a woman. Um, wait, wait, wait. I've always wanted to be a woman, and I've always more been, felt more comfortable as a girl. That's why even in drag, I've always never really wanted to take my drag off. So it was... That's what it is. I, I've always felt more comfortable. I, I just... It was just, it was just something that kind of felt like second nature instead of forcing myself to be something. I've always felt like I forced myself to be um, a boy instead of being a girl. Being a girl felt more natural, felt more at home, you could say, um, than being a boy. Bernie, you're a bitch. <laughs> cool, yeah. Don't talk about Bernie. Bernie, you should do that production that I sent you on your Facebook. It would be amazing. So I, well, because I put that light under my eye, I have to somewhat set it with a powder. And I am running out of my setting powder. God. I need to replenish my stuff from like since after touring in the Philippines. Because I don't know why, but I kind of like running out of stuff. Gee, I wonder why. Girls from the Philippines. Fucking vultures. <laughs> um, them hoes robbed me. I'm joking. Um, what time is it here? It is 8.36 in the morning. Um, so yeah, I am just... Why is it not charging, motherfucker? It says it's charging. Oh, man. Is it because I forgot its actual charger? I left this, the charger for this at my aunt's house. I guess I'm going to have to ask her to mail it to me. Because... Mm -hmm. Or I could just wait. Oh, guys, by the way, the UK is happening for me. In the summer, so I will be coming to the UK in the summertime. I don't think it's for Drag World, but... I mean, I would love to go to Drag World. I hope it is. But 
Um, I knew, I do know that I am going to the UK. So, yay. I think it's London that I'm going, so I'm excited for that. Okay, what else do I have to do? Oh, yeah, the rest of my motherfucking face. Where is my, okay. I'm from London. Hope the mirror ain't broke. The mirror's not broken, it's the light. <laughs> the mirror is intact, it's the fucking light. God damn it. <laughs> Um, I don't know yet. All I know is that um, on my calendar, there is, um, what do you call this? Like, um, things that are on hold, and it says UK on it. So, boom. So, like, they're finalizing, I guess, my contract and stuff. Come to the light, Carolyn. I... My pajamas, actually, this pajamas is um, pajamas that my mom bought me. And it was like the first sign that my mom saw me as a woman, as a girl, because she bought me girl pajamas. She didn't buy me boy pajamas. And usually every Christmas, my mom would buy me and my brother um, pajamas. So this particular Christmas, my mom bought me girl pajamas, and I was just like, to, to the moon, because... I felt like she finally saw me as a girl, and it just felt natural. Okay, so I put, I do put a little bit of powder. Because I just feel more comfortable, like, with it, so that it lasts long all, and lasts all day, rather than, there you go, rather than it, I don't have any on. So, basically, I am going to put... Where is this brush? I'm going to put... A, this is just not going to happen today. The mirror is saying, no, Mary, no. You know what it is? I didn't... I guess I didn't leave it charging when I left. So I leave a little bit of that. Just to kind of... Where is this thing? Okay. This is just daytime. I'm not. <laughs> this is not my day for this. What can you say about the generation Filipinos being more accepting? I'm glad that they are, but I feel like it's. It, I think it's baby steps because it's accepting, but it. I think they're tolerating, but not really accepting because even for trans women, I, I like in the Philippines. I feel like. They don't get the, the respect that they deserve. Um, they're still called gays, and I don't think that it's right. Yeah, the right, the light said, no, bitch, not today. <laughs> and I feel like it's such a, a huge disadvantage, and, like, I, I think it's, like, a huge step back because trans women should be respected more, and... I feel like it. they don't get the respect that they deserve in the Philippines, that they should. And that's just my honest opinion. Because sometimes, in the Philippines, even though it's a joke, it's kind of funny sometimes. But, like, well, actually, no, it's not funny at all, honestly. But, like, when they mention, like, the boy names, it, cause, like, because there's no such thing as, like, um, I, I guess name transferring in the Philippines, right? Like, you, like, your gender marker is not being changed in the Philippines. It kind of sucks to be still called your boy name and stuff like that. And it's, or you, like, your things that, like, your, what's the word for it? Like, your papers and stuff like that. Like, it's hard to get changed in the Philippines, I think. And for me, it's, I just, 
I don't know. I I don't want to comment on it because I'm not. I'm not. I'm from there, but I don't live there, so I don't know how to explain what 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 it is like. So this one is gonna shut off in two seconds. Watch. See. But at least I get what I need. Um, and it is hurtful. Like, for me, I can't stand it when people use my boy name. Um, it irks me. It, um, it, it, it bothers me. Um, so, like, I get it when it's a mistake or whatever. And it just... What's the word for it? I find it disrespectful. I do. And I try to brush it off. Like, if it's my friends, sometimes, like, I get it. They're joking. But it does annoy me. Like, Fifi knows how much it pisses me off. Because, um, like, we had an argument about it. And, like, and I'm glad now. She understands now. Like, okay, it's, like, kind of, like, off limits. And even, like, she tells people, she's, like, don't ever, like... When, um, I know, like, I think she, she introduces me to her friends. She never introduces me as my boy name. Um, but, yeah, it's just stuff like that. I, I just, I don't know, like, my boy name is just off limits. I can't stand it. I hate when people use it. It just irks the shit out of me. This light, she's just, nope, not cooperative today. She's like, no, Maria, no. <laughs> Hello, Georgia's, Full from Georgia State Prison. Oh, Lord. I got prisoners on, on my channel right now. What would you recommend? Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, I love, would I recommend this peachy, um, matte palette um, from Too Faced. I love this palette. Like, it is, like, my favorite right now. So, oh, God, I feel like a beauty. Um, <laughs> that fucking light. How do you think I feel? Uh, advice for kids growing up gay in school. <sighs> this is hard because I feel like... I don't want to tell you guys to live stealth because I want you guys to live your honest truth and I want you guys to be happy, but I feel like you should be careful because we are in weird times. As much as I would love to say that the world is very accepting, it's not. Um, I would rather you guys uh, be careful how you, you know, who you, who you encounter and stuff like that. Like find a f group of friends that you could trust and they'll be there for you, but I don't think you should just be like, so, no, I don't want to say that either. Kids can be really cruel, so I, I just want you guys to be careful and to be safe. Um, but I want you to live your truth. It's just hard because you have to kind of like, um, tread water, it's like tread, like, you have to tread before you swim. Like, tread in water is before you swim. So, just see what the environment is like. I wouldn't... Because some people can be really cruel. And kids can be really mean. And I would hate for you guys to put yourself in a position where you're in danger. And I don't think that would be better. I wouldn't... I don't think it would be good for you guys. Just saying... Being LGBT is a bit unsafe in the world, but we are who we are. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't live your truth. I'm just saying be careful of your surroundings and be aware. Be very well aware of the people who you surround yourself. Because you never know what people's intentions are with you. And I would hate for something to happen for a kid who gets hurt because of who they are. To the real world, when you get 
Hi, Patrick. You're a legend. Keep doing your own thing. Thank you. I don't think I'm a legend. I'm, too, um, I'm only 37. I'm not that old. Oh, that's the thing. Okay, we're going to try with this light real quick because I need... This light is being so uncooperative, the bitch. Be like, <laughs> she is just not playing with me today. Hold up, y'all. Don't mind the messy bed. So this is the best way I can do my makeup, at least. And you guys are still there. Okay. Uh. I look crazy. I like. Uh, okay. So you are 24 7 now or now? Can, okay, can I ask, um, Miss Amberici, whatever your name is, why is it, why are you asking so many questions about my transition 24 7? Like, questions like that piss me off. I already said I'm transitioning. I already said I'm a woman. So why are you asking a question that says you're 24 7? That is a faggoty question to ask, and it pisses me off. Um, there's nothing wrong with saying... Would I ever come back for all stars? If they ask, maybe. Don't worry, my mind, not you, man. Lions are agreeing to say Many people in this world will make you feel like you're nothing but LGBT people are saying Thank you. How did I pick my name? Um, I picked my name because of my mom. It was actually already in my baby book. <laughs> my mom was a very huge fan of um, romance novels. <laughs> ah! Mommy, please don't. <laughs> like, um, so it is like, so she was like a big fan of romance novels. And her and her sisters are big fans of this one particular book. I forgot the name of it. But the lead guy. His name is Giancarlo, and then the lead girl, her name was Angela. And then the bad guy, his name was Paolo, and then the bad girl, her name was Bianca. So my mom was like, um, she loved the character of the bad boy and the bad girl more. So she said that if I would have my firstborn, if... He's a boy, I will name him Paolo. If he's if she's a girl, I'll name her Bianca. So on my baby book, my mom, actually my baby book was a girl's book because originally they thought it was going to be a girl. Oops. Well, kind of worked out anyway, but like when I came out, it's like, oops, that's not a girl. <laughs> then a few years later, all things come to play. But yeah. So my mom was just like, so that's where it came from. Bianca was going to be my name either way. So, and I like the name. I've always liked name like um, that name because I always feel like it's sassy and pretty anyway. And when I saw it in my baby book, it just kind of made sense. So, yeah. Hola, Jiggly Esta Hermosa. That means, Jiggly, you're pretty, I think, or you're a woman. I don't know. I am really bad at Spanish, and I only know the bad stuff. Wait, can you not wear a woo? Just go out with a towel on your head because it's look. Yeah, I wish. Uh, I have to contour a bit because, bitch, I have a round pancake face and it's just not cute. Hey, can you sent me stuff and I'm afraid to look at what you sent me, bitch. Hold on, guys. <gasps> Eken, you are a horrible person. Eken, putang ama ka talaga. Um. Ooh, bitch, there is too much rhinestones on this. Yeah, I'm putting a little bit of blush and contour on. Huh. 
<sighs> oh my god, I had, I had such a good night. Can you not? Hi. She meant to be. Suchi, thank you. How is 2018 treating me? Um, 2018 honestly is. <sighs> I'm so excited for it. I wish. This is a bad angle, I know, but I wish that. But like, this is things that are coming to the. That are things are coming in the horizon, and I, I wish you guys, I wish I could share it all, but I just don't want to jinx it. Obviously, you guys know my album is coming out. Um, Billboard wrote something really, really, really amazing about my album. Um, I guess they um, got a leak of my album, <laughs> so they heard because they know about the song with Sharon and uh, Jiggling Brown. So I'm really happy that. They like it because it's Billboard. Hello, like you have to be stupid to not think that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just glad that Billboard likes it, and I'm not like I'm only going to confirm the drag queens that are gonna be on this album. Um, Beyond no, not Bianca. Um, Fifi's on the album. Ginger Minge is on the album. Alaska's on the album. Sharonitas is on the album. I think that's it. Manila. Manila's in the album. So yeah. Um, I'm proud of the album because I I get to show you guys another side of me where it's kind of it's pretty much really the real jiggly and people don't ever see it. So you guys get to see that part of me. <laughs> it's amazing. You sent my Aw, well. <laughs> Draggies is a survival situation. It's a dog eat dog situation. So, if you're not gonna try to win, you can't go in there like playing around. You gotta go in there and like try to kill. I don't care. This mirror is not cooperating anymore. I hate kids. Okay. Oh, did people stop? Oh, shit. All these questions. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, guys. What was the reason you didn't come out of Shander for so long? Was it because you were afraid of your... No, my family knew. Um, it was... Um, I didn't come out right away because I just wanted something for myself. I feel like I share a lot of myself with you guys as it is, and... I just feel like sometimes you guys don't need to know everything. And I wanted something that was just for me in my immediate circle and for people who just know me. But then it got annoying and tedious when people would be like, why are you always in drag? And I'm like, no, I'm not in drag. But I just had to. Thank you for that question, Michael. No, it was not. It's not upsetting. It's... Uh, no, Fifi has not been to the Philippines yet. I'm trying to convince her to come with me, but I wish I had your makeup skills. <laughs> right now, my makeup skills in questions. Do you have a YouTube? No, I do not have a YouTube channel yet. Uh, do you, wait, do you still watch this show? What show? Drag Race? Are you still do? Yes. I was a fan of this show before um, Drag Race, and I'll still be the, the highlight. What highlight am I using? I am using... My favorite right now is ColourPop. <laughs> and it is, oh shit. I have been using it so much, I have ripped off the thing on the bottom of what color it is. But it's like a gold color, like a dark 
bronzy color. I'm too, yeah, see? I'm too dark to be using, like, light stuff. Ow, ow, ow. What highlight am I using? No, my nails. Thank you. How long have I been? Doing? Not for a long while. Who is your favorite person to work with? Ooh. Um, I always have fun with my girls, but there's a specific group of girls that I just always love, love working with. Delta, Morgan, Willem, Fifi, obviously, um, Ginger, um, Sharon when she's sober, <laughs> uh, Manila. I mean, I love my girls. Like you guys, who Jujubi? I love working with Jujubi. Me and Jujubi have such a good time. The, but the best person I love working with is, um, and it's gonna sound really bad, and I'm going to sound like a really mean girl. But every time I work with Delta, <laughs> something. <laughs> something comes up or something happens during a show, I can always just look at Delta and Delta knows what kind of shady thing I'm thinking. I don't know why. I guess it's a fat girl thing. I don't know we have that connection. But Delta knows that I have that because all I got to do is look at Delta and then look at where I'm, sub where I'm trying, where I'm have a, like what I'm reading and Delta knows exactly what I'm about to say. And it's always such a good time. Um, me and Willem are very hilarious together because me and Willem are both stupid. <laughs> we are like, we're bad girls. And I am putting on a little bit of eyeliner. I am putting on a lash day. Which, mind you, I'm getting on a goddamn greyhound. I don't know why I'm thinking... I hope that there's a flight from Albany. There probably is a flight. That would be fucking insane, though. If I take a flight from Albany to to, to the city. Will I ever come to you? I would love to. Um, what palette is that in my hand? It is Too Faced, Just Peachy Mattes. I love Mattes um, palettes because this is my favorite. These are my two favorite palettes. Urban Decay. Well, this I got for free. Urban Decay um, Naked Ultimate Basics. And, I, and this Too Faced, Just Peachy palette are like my go-to's um mainly when I, I i like doing just like um neutral tones or like earth tones these are like my go-to's um but i do like my favorite colorful one is um sugar pill my sugar pill pro palette it is insane because it's i i do hope i go to drop to drag world i would love to go to drag world i hope i get invited because it's an invitation-only kind of situation. It's not like DragCon, where they, <laughs> you just go. Um, but, yeah. Ooh, I kind of want to be a little extra. I, I, I was in Taiwan for like two minutes. Well, for like 30 minutes. Because um, my plane from Amsterdam was stuck there for 30 minutes. We had to refuel. That was it. Your skin is so flawless. Thank you. I try. I really, really try to keep my skin clear. Um, extra is your second name. Why am I? Na I am very extra. <laughs> I will admit that I am an extra bitch. Will I ever do all stars? I don't think I'll ever be asked to do all stars. I don't. 
I kind of get given up on like that thought. Come on, it's been three All Stars. I haven't been asked. Huh? Like that ship has sailed in my book. <laughs> Come to Nottingham. I would love to. You know what? I definitely would love to do is when if I get to go back when I go back to the UK. I definitely, definitely. Wait, is this Velvet Teddy? Fuck. Nope. Oh, cherish. Damn it, I didn't bring it. Um, I would love to go to the um, Harry Potter thing. I know that sounds so stupid and sounds so childish, but I would love to do the Harry Potter thing. Michelle and Jinx were raving for it, so I'm like, I want to go. Just doing a little light lip liner because I, it is daytime. I'm not trying to go crazy. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Fuck that song I'm stuck in my head. Ooh, I swear to God, if Kyle or anybody that's from the girls at Obar, I hate you girls. That fucking song is stuck in my head. And then it, and then it. Fuck. Stuck in my head. I hate it. Not that I hate, not that I hate the song is bad, but just I hate when songs get stuck in my head that I'm not going to perform. That's a cute song, though. There is one song I kind of wish that was mine instead of somebody else. <laughs> that damn suck song from fucking Empire. Look but don't touch. Damn it. That should have been my song. But I do love that song. Okay. Alright, putting things away. Oh, I got to do eyebrows. Oh, I lost my fucking mind. I did. I think I've had a minor stroke because I am about to walk out of here with no eyebrows. Son of a bitch. And then I'm gonna fucking have Shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. I don't care right now. You perform Look But Don't Touch It, Rise, and you turn. I love that song. Like, uh. That is like my go-to song, you guys have no idea. It is my jammy jam. It is my lady jam, I guess. I don't know. But that song has, like, I think that is like my favorite song so far. I love Montreal. I've been to Montreal. I did it with Battle of the Seasons. It was so much fun. And then they took us to a strip bar. That was... Hmm. And it was Pandora. Pandora Box, we took a sister strip club, bitch. I was like, wow. I saw a different side of Pandy. I was like, Pandora? She made me clutch my pearls. Oh, my rainbow braids, they're so cute. It was a gift from one of the girls from the Philippines. Well, more like a trade-off. Bitch, took my dress. <laughs> <coughs> They're so sweet in the Philippines. I'll wait. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry, back. Uh, is it easy to draw one brow? Mm, I hate doing brows. So, you ever want to be a porn star? Uh, I could have. I've done stuff. Hello from Boston. I like Boston. Uh, Malu, hi. 
The sun is coming through the windows. I know. I am trying to like not say hi to them. I have to concentrate, sorry. Where am I off to? I'm off to go home. But I just don't like going out without makeup. Because I'm crazy. I don't like going anywhere without makeup. <laughs> I am kind of insane like that. I don't know why. I refuse to go outside without makeup. I don't know. I just don't feel like I look human without makeup. I feel like I look like a fucking tree monster. I think they're even. Whatever, if they're not even, fuck it. I'm wearing a hat anyway. the wings there's so many songs stuck in my head today. What the fuck? Oh, thank you. I mean, I look, I'm not saying I'm ugly without it. I just, I just personally, because like if people, God forbid people like stop me in the street or whatever, I, I just can't see myself being in the street and be like, uh, and I like blank face. It's just weird. I just, I can't. At least I'm honest, like... And what I said in um, Teen Vogue is true. When I feel a little down, I'll go to the mall and be like... And wait and pray till somebody see, like, recognizes me. Just to boost my little confidence up. <laughs> but there are days where I'm really just shopping. Like, so if I have stuff in my hands and I am shopping... Um, I, I, I am, it's like, literally, I am shopping, not just trying to get, I do recognize a lot, though, I do. I just want to look normal, because people are going to take pictures, and then you're going to put it on Instagram, and then here come the trolls. Julie look a mess. Why does she look like that? And be like, she's not even trying. God, it is like, you guys are ruthless. <laughs> not just to me, but like to the other girls too. Jesus. What lashes are they? Ardell. No cheapies. I mean, they're daytime, so. Why spend all that much money on daytime regular lash that I'm going to be like... I use like every day. We love you from Barcelona. Hello. I've met you before at New York. Oh, thank you. Uh, guys that are saying ignore the haters, trust me, I try to ignore it. But I handle my social media. Oh my God, why am I sniffling? Um, I handle my own social media, not somebody else. So when. It's hard to kind of be like, and at the magnitude that I get rude things, it's just hard. You know what I mean? It's it's hard. It's hard to just be like, to just brush it off and be like, ah, it's okay. No, it's hard. Like, it's just, people can be rude. Oh, does anybody here have a connection to Miss Saigon in the U.S.? 
please direct message me because I want to see it before it closes. And then I have a friend, her name is, she's an asshole, her name is Pixie Aventura, who went to go see it. And I'm like, God damn it, I was just saying I want to go see this before it closes. And nobody will go with me. Manila's not in town. She's in California. <coughs> and Fifi won't go see it, so... I want to go see it again. It will be like my 21st. Oh, yeah, it'll be my 21st time going to see it. <laughs> I went to go see it numerous times when I was a kid. When I moved here. Yes. No. Hold on, let's see what it looks like with the light. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Um, say hi to Vianna. Hi, Vianna. Maybe I could invite somebody. Hold on. Hmm. Who's still in here? Hmm. Monkey boy, no. Oh, the girls left. Oh, uh, never mind. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to go because I have to pack all this shit up. Thank you, guys. If anything, I'll go back live and I talk to you guys in a bit. I guess I'm a Miss Universe friend with you. <laughs> Hold up, Sean. <laughs> We're going to talk together, Sean. Yeah, I'm going to be like, wait a second. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go, guys. Um, I love you. Thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Deuces.